All right, hey guys. Carl from Driveway Labs. Just wanted to uh, give a quick walkthrough of the pre-assembled diffuser pieces and do a comparison between the Type 1 and the Type 2. So here's the pieces. I just picked them up from Freight, straight from my laser cutter. These, uh, these are not assembled yet, obviously. Let's go through a quick walkthrough real quick, and then uh, that way we can start getting these guys assembled and get ready for powder coat and start dropping them off to people. So here we have the Type 1 and the Type 2 fins. Uh, type 1 is on the top, Type 2 on the bottom. So you can see they're a different shape, different length, and a different height. Overlaid, here is the differences. So from end to end, there's the difference. So here we have the Type 1 main body laid out and the Type 2 main body laid out. So you can see the differences already on the trailing edge. Very angular, hangs out past the rear bumper by about two inches. And then this one is curved on the ends. And then here you can see the mounting hole, which is very close to the trail edge, as opposed to this one where you have that nice big old race car lip that's going to extend past the bottom of the rear bumper. Straight designs on the ends, different as well just to match the uh, fins going across the body. The main plate design is the same. So I expect performance to be very similar between the two. However, the Type 1 is going to have an advantage on drag reduction and uh, lift reduction because of the longer body and the longer strikes. That helps the air move further past the car and stay in a, uh, a cleaner um, path to uh, escape from underneath the car. So let's do real quick the two plates overlaid with one another. You can see there's the outer straight designs. All right. From inside and outside. And here is the way the trailing edges line up. So about a two inch difference and a complete shape redesign from one to the other. So that's where the mounting holes line up. Right here, mounting holes, so you can see the difference between the two. The bottom of the bumper cover should come up cleanly to the edge of this. And you won't have any excess coming off of the back of the rear bumper. So I'm going to go ahead and start uh, hammering some of these out. And uh, my car is actually at Subaru right now getting uh, the transmission replaced under warranty. I had that fourth gear grind issue. Um, so I'll have my car back later today and I'll actually uh, throw one of these on the car. Do a walk around video and show you how it looks and fits on my car with my exhaust. There you have it. This is the uh, pre-production release video to uh, explain some of the differences. Thanks guys.